Hi and welcome to this feature peek of Roots Magic version 6 and its handling of places. Roots Magic probably has the most place related features in any genealogy program I've seen. The one problem at the moment is that they're a little fragmented and I would hope maybe during the current version or on a future version that gets brought together. This is the current version 6.0.0.4 which is in January 2013. Let me skip about here quickly just to show you the various place related things there are in Roots Magic. So firstly under lists we have the traditional place list here. This has a list on the left hand side of all of your places, which should be places. You have place details down in this window here. You have little indications of whether it's been geocoded, whether there's been notes added or whether there's been media added. But you can see on the left hand side first of all this place list typical of one imported from another user is very untidy we have descriptions um, yes more descriptions we have further down we have a battalion these all need to be separated out into their relative fields okay let me flip over onto the tools menu here and we can see under the tools menu we have gazetteer we have mapping and we have a thing called County Check Explorer. Let's firstly go into Gazetteer, which is a list of all places that Ge Roots Magic can geocode from. We'll put in a place and we can see Wayne, Pennsylvania. And it is actually Wayne, Pennsylvania, United States. But if I just wanted to have w Pennsylvania, United States, I could also select that one. So the matches from the closest to the furthest away. And you can select that. Copy the clipboard. And then you can close this window. Go back into the place list and you can paste that in there. What I don't like about this is the fact that you have to close windows and jump back and forward. But anyway, that's how it is for, for now and let's hope it gets closer related in the future. Next on the tools menu is the mapping interface. So we move into the mapping interface and on the left hand side we have a list of places, many of which as we know have to be reconciled. On the right hand pane you have a Bing Maps window. What you don't have is the third pane that Family Tree Maker has, which gives you where those events are used and where those places are used. Anyway, for now, we'll click on 105 My Ladies Road. That information gets sent off to Bing Maps, and there we have a good representation of where My Ladies Road is. Try it again for Templemore Avenue, and again, there's Templemore Avenue. What's missing here is the facility to move in and grab the geocoding information from the map and paste it back into the program against that place. Lastly on the tools menu we have what's called County Check Explorer. Now if I take in a place here it's looked up in the database and you can see the search results on the left hand side. Now I'm particularly interested in Wayne County and the history of Wayne County, when it became Wayne County. My top match is Pennsylvania United States not what I'm looking for so I go through it down through the list here I see further down Wayne Pennsylvania United States I would like to see that appear as the top result being the closest one and if I click on that I can see it's part of Pennsylvania from 21st March 1798 to present I can go to the online info online map and I can resolve that from there well, enough negatives for now. I want to show you one of my favourite features in Rich Magic, and that is True Place Details. True Place Details could be a cemetery, it could be a hospital, it could be a church. They're totally independent of the places, although they live within the place list. They can be geocoded on their own, they can have notes added on their own, and they can have media added on their own. This I don't know of in any other genealogy programme. So let's quickly go to Eliza Surgeoner here. We'll double click on her and you can see exactly what I mean. If I go to add a fact and I'll add baptism and say baptism, I'm going to say February and Antrim and you see a suggestive list come up. I'm going to pick Antrim Parish. Now this is the important field here which is place, details, address, hospital, cemetery etc. So I've already selected Antrim Parish and if I click on this little icon it'll show me any place details within Antrim Parish. And we can see here already we have First Presbyterian Church also known as Melrose. To the right we can see a little thumbnail photo of it which I have added. 
we can see the latitude and longitude which also I have added and we can also see in the note a little history of the church the Presbyterian congregation was formed in 1726 there was a bit of a rebuild in the church in 1828 etc so this is a wealth of information that you can build up into a little mini reference database of your own so I'm going to select that that's been selected in there and I'll just save that it's not necessary to save it all you have to do is come out of the field and it will be auto saved that's one of my favourite features within Roots Magic. So let's look at that same place within the place list. So we go lists, place list, Antrim, and we can see Antrim Parish. To the right hand side we can see a little thumbnail photo here, which I know is an old picture of Main Street in Antrim. We can see that the latitude and longitude have been geocoded, and we can see that there's no note attached to the actual place Antrim. However, below we can see the place details that we used and we can see by the icons on the right hand side that it has been geocoded it has a note attached and it also has media double clicking on any of these will take you into the place details if I click this button up here same thing and in here we can see the screen we had previously which we can edit we can change the coordinates we can change the note or we can change the media or we can add to the media and add further photographs of that place just click on OK when you're done and then click close and you're back into the place list unfortunately the current user interface doesn't actually show us directly what people are attached to the Antrim Parish but we can click the print button here and if we click that we're brought up with another screen where we can print all events in a single place and the Antrim Parish Antrim is selected. We can also print all places in the database, all places including events, and we can print events near a place. Clicking on this brings up another screen where the radius, I can select that down or I can just change it to one mile and um, I can look up for a place name and, and places near that and this works very well and it's it's handy when you're trying to um, find family that are within a certain area or lived within a certain area and without having to know all of the place names and the immediate surrounding area you can type in this radius and do it from here however we're going to go back to all places including of our, all events in a single place and that's what the one we're going to select and we're going to click on generate report so that takes us into this screen which opens up in a separate window and it's the report viewer however it is a viewer the items that are on it are not hyperlinked in any way you can't drill down any further into them by double clicking on them but you can print them you can save them in various formats and you can email them you'll also see on the left that you have a page by page if there was numerous pages to this report you can just select them here the information it's showing you is the place and you can see that's reversed that's one of the options when generating the report uh, you can see the media and the full file path of the media that's attached to that place you can see the place details that we have already used the fact that it's been geocoded you can see the coordinates here and there's two events there are two baptisms for Eliza and Thomas at the bottom you can print off your preparer information which would be your own information stored within the program and that's again just an option that you would select. Now Roots Magic does have a facility to split out a place and place details if they're both combined in the place list and if we look quickly on the left here we can see here we've got a street address so I click that I click edit you can do all sorts of things here like latitude, longitude, standardized place name but I'm more interested in the split place place details so if I click on that we can see that the place which is actually Glasgow so we'll just copy that we'll put it down the bottom here we'll take out that comma because Roots Magic doesn't have the little handy up down buttons to the left that uh, Family Tree Maker has which splits based on the existence of the comma so the place is Glasgow, we'll delete that, and we know Glasgow's in Scotland. So that's our place split out. So if we now click on that, and click OK again, we can see in Glasgow, Scotland now, that we have a station terrace. We double click the media, we can add new media. We double click the note, we can add a note. And we can double click there, and we can geocode this, 
or we can add the note or add the media from here. So if you've been watching closely you'll have seen that Roots Magic has a lot of very useful place features. However they just need to be brought together in possibly a new and shiny user interface. One thing I must mention that's not within the program at present, if you look to the left hand side here, there's some things that are very obviously not places and they deserve in the description field. Currently there's no facility within Roots Magic to do that. I love Roots Magic as a program and over time as different place things have been added it's become a little bit fragmented in how those manage and how we move between those but if you look at the existing Roots Magic mapping interface it's a great foundation for a new and all encompassing user interface. If we look down the left hand side where we're currently displaying places if place details existed there a little plus button would suffice where you could click on it open it up and then drill into the place details see exactly where they exist on the map and if we also had the hierarchical view where you could replace the place details so that you could drill down into this geographically by country, country etc. Looking along the top we've got plenty of room here where we could add the gazetteer button, the county check button, tools like split place details uh, tools like split to the description field and on the right hand side we have plenty of room for a table where we could show who those places are attached to at present where those place details are being used um, double clicking on that there would be lovely to move straight into the edit person screen make any corrections needed and then come straight back to this user interface rather than jumping in and out of screens remembering reference numbers, remembering names, remembering record numbers writing them down, old, very old fashioned stuff so what about Roots Magic strengths? Well the true place details is a big one for me. They can be geocoded individually, they can hold notes and media, building a little mini database which is very informative. Secondly, County Check Explorer. It links out of the program to another database but it contains valuable information regarding counties and when they come into existence. For someone in the UK trying to work with American places or someone in the US trying to work with UK places very informative. Lastly, Roots Magic is simply a very user-friendly interface. So what about weaknesses? Well I have to say the current fragmentation of the various place related features which are not all accessed from a common user interface is a big one. You're jumping in and out of different windows for different features and they're not all joined together. This Roots Magic has a lot of uh, very useful place management tools, but they just all need to be brought together into one user interface. Secondly, I would have to say the inability to lift geocode information directly from Bing Maps or easily copy such information from other mapping applications such as Google Maps. That is a big time waster for me and it's a big time saver when it's properly handled in another program. Thirdly, the lack of a live list of individual facts that is used in each place or place details. This is very informative to show you where things are actually being used and again we can see that this has been achieved in other programs and should be achieved within Roots Magic. Lastly, the inability to move back and forth between the place user interface and the edit person screen. Again, we've seen that this has been achieved in other programs and it should be achieved within Roots Magic. Thank you for your time. I hope you found this presentation useful. And overall, I have to say Roots Magic is a very nice program to use. I would hope that these uh, little shortcomings will be overcome in the near future. And when they are, it's going to make the program even stronger. Happy hunting, and I welcome your comments down below the video.